Hi everyone, we are back with a tutorial for assignment 3. Now let's look at the assignment note. First and foremost, let's double click on Google Chrome and then go to my website. Okay, if you still don't know, it's sites.google.com slash view slash sgib minus ict. Okay, now the first thing you need to go to is year 4. Scroll down to assignment 3, go to assignment note. Now, your, for your third assignment, it will be editing a Word document. Okay, so you are required to follow the requirements from a question paper. So meaning... It will be like last time where I did set A and set B with you. And then you need to type everything and change everything in 45 minutes. Okay? So, in the requirements, sometimes it requires you to create a table, adjust the margin, include pictures, creating a list, and add a header. Okay? Now, once you're done with everything, you have to email me to my email okay so let's look at the criteria the first one is the document should be at least have less than two mistakes in the document meaning don't have any spelling errors okay and when you are using microsoft word or google doc normally it has the option for you to auto correct it okay so that shouldn't be a problem to you second criteria is the content which means the document should include at least 90% of the content on the paper. Okay? Next one. The document must be edit edited according to the requirements of the paper. So, if you follow all of the requirements, you get the two marks. If you only follow some of the requirements, you only get one mark. And then, the criteria number four and number five, this one is very easy to do. It's very easy to score um four marks right here which is the first one you need to name your project your google doc project or your file and next one you need to submit it on time okay so now let's try to do the practice first okay go back to the website go to the mock question okay so this is what you got to do Okay, at part one, you need to type all of this. It's not necessarily going to be a recipe. It's either going to be a letter. It's either going to be a step-by-step -step process on how to do uh, certain things. Okay, it could be uh, an article that you need to type. Okay, so it could be very, uh, it could be different from what you're going to get. Okay, it depends on which set you're going to get. But the format of the question is going to be the same. Okay, type uh, at part one, you type all of this. Part two is where you're going to make the changes. Okay, for number one, you need to change the typeface to Verdana. Okay, and then change it to a size 12. Okay, number two is where you need to put it in a table okay later i'm gonna show and then number three write the instructions and method in an ordered list number four change the title size to size 14 and font to bold and underline and change the color to navy blue okay as long as it's similar to this color i still give you marks and then type the header cba2 a3 your name and class and then set the margin, okay? And the last part is where you save the project and then send it to my email, okay? Remember, this is only a practice, not the real, uh, what you call that? Not the real assessment, you understand? Okay, so let's start first how you do it. Okay, go to new tab, go to the nine dots, okay? Go to drive. Okay. 
Now, the next thing you need to do is go to new and then go to Google Doc, click on the arrow, and then click on blank document. Okay, now we are here. Okay, make sure you type your title. Let's go back to your uh, assignment note. Okay, make sure you name your project. This one is very important. Let's do it right here. At un if it remains as untitled document, zero marks over there. Okay, so make sure you name it first. CBA2, A3, your name, and your class. Okay, then you click at the blank space here, and then it will save to the drive. Now, the next thing you got to do is type out what is right here at part one. Okay, so since I'm going to give you a paper, you don't have to do split screen, okay? But right now, I'm going to do split screen so it's easier for me to see. Now, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to do split screen, okay? So I'm going to type up everything right here. All right. So I'm going to fast forward this video.
Okay. Right now, I have already done part one. Okay. So, okay. Now, if you see, the title right here is uh, the alignment is a bit different. Okay. So, I'm going to full screen and show you how to do it. So, you highlight the first two lines. And can you see the align here? It says align. It's left justify what we want to do is we want to make it centered okay now we're done with this part now i'm splitting the screen again okay let's go down okay now we are going to apply the changes okay change the typeface of the article to verdana okay how do we select all of it right here very simple just press ctrl a oops wrong side Press, press Ctrl A on this side, huh? not this side. This side, Ctrl A to select everything. Or you can do the old-fashioned method. Click and drag all the way down. Okay. Now, can you see the text right here? It says Arial. Actually, it's not called font. Huh? It's called typeface. Now, we're going to change to Verdana. Okay. It says right here, Verdana. And then... Okay, we're going to change it to size 12. Now it's 11. Okay, make sure it is all highlighted before you change anything or else you won't do any changes at all. Okay, now this is a size 12. Okay, now we are done with number 1 right here. Okay, good. Now, next thing we got to do is... Put the ingredients in a table based on the format below. Okay, so we must have this, this, and the picture right here in a table. Okay, so what we're going to do is, okay, let's click right uh, after the title. Okay, we're going to enter two times. And then, okay, let me full screen first. We are going to click insert. Okay, insert the table. Just now, okay, if you look at the table, right, how many rows it has? It has two rows. And at most, it has how many columns? One, two. Even though the first row has one column, but we are going to choose the highest number of columns. Okay, so let's go to insert table and then we're gonna choose two by two okay now you have a table right here if you notice the first row is actually one column not two like this one so what you do is you highlight the first row of the table and then okay you're going to right click on the highlighted part Okay, now, can you see merge cells? You click on that, both of them will be combined. Okay, now let's do split screen again. Now, what will happen is, okay, we are going to follow what's here. Okay, now, let's copy this. Okay, you highlight. You control X to cut and control V to paste. Okay? Now, the next thing you need to do is copy the ingredients and put it in the second row of the first column. So you highlight, you click and drag, you control X again, and then you put it in here. Okay? And since we don't have a photo of this uh, uh, soup right here, what you can do is you highlight this, copy, go to new tab, and paste to find the photo. Okay. Now, as long as it's a picture of a soup, then I accept. So, you right-click here, copy image, Go back to your Google Doc again. 
then you click here and then you control V and then you have the photo okay it doesn't matter if it has different uh, it's a different picture okay as long as you got it the correct way in the uh, requirements okay now it says here number three yeah since number two we are done already we are done with number one and number two okay number three write the instruction method in an ordered list okay right here this is the instructions right if you look at it properly okay now we are going to backspace a bit so it doesn't interfere with the uh or it doesn't look awkward because it has so much space and it says here write the instruction method in an ordered list you already wrote the instruction and it says it needs to be an ordered list okay i taught in the classroom right there are two types of lists ordered and unordered lists meaning the ordered one will look something like this okay it will have one two three four five six seven until 15 right here if it's unordered list it will look something like this bullet point okay you shouldn't be using bullet point on instructions okay because bullet points are used for uh things that doesn't require priority or things that need to do first so right here you're going to choose numbered list or we call it ordered list okay you can even choose other ordered lists as well you can do like this you can do abc or you can do romanized numbers but we are going to stick with one two three okay now we are done we are done with number three as well now it says here change the title to size 14 and change the font to bold and underline and then change the color to navy blue okay the title is right here correct so let's do it huh? okay so we highlight the title and then we're going to change the font to bold okay let me full screen first bold is this one this is italic and this is underlined okay italic is when the words become slanted okay bold is you want to emphasize on something the words will become thicker underline is where you draw a line under the words okay since the requirement is bold and underline and then you have to change the title size to 14 okay let while it's highlighted in blue let's change it to 14 okay now after that you have to change the color to navy blue okay how you do it can you see the a symbol right here okay it's if you move closer to it it will say text color correct so click on it you can choose navy blue right here okay now let's go back to the question again now type the header cba2 a3 your name and class okay how do you get header okay you double click on top then you will have a header okay or you can always go here and then insert headers right here okay okay we're gonna use that method again okay the second method so you will remember go to insert header and footers header okay you're gonna name it as cba2 a3 your name and your class okay class for one okay but for the uh typing assessment okay it won't be like this because you will need to type set a and set b let's say if you get set b 
you type set B. Okay? If you get set A, you type set A. But this is just a uh, exercise only. So there won't be any sets yet. Okay? So once you're done typing, click on the white space here. And then you have it. Okay? And then after that, what you need to do... Okay, the next thing, okay, we already done one until five in part two, okay? Number six, you're going to set the margin, okay? Set to A4 size, huh? so you go to file, page setup, and then the whole document set, set to A4 size. File, page setup, whole document, I make sure it, here it says whole document. This one, it says paper size to letter. I don't want that. So we're going to choose, go to A4, then OK. Then you are done at part 2 only, okay? Only at part 2. Okay, once you are done, right? You have to rename it as CBA2A3, your name and class, which we already done right here. Okay? Then, the next thing you need to do, go to File, Downloads, and then Microsoft Word. File, Download, Microsoft Word. Okay. Then you already downloaded it. Okay? So, next thing you got to do is go to New tab. And then go to Gmail. Okay. And then you go and compose. So how do you write the email? Very simple. Okay. You go to how to submit your assignment. You can copy the email right here. Okay. Copy the email. Control C. Control V, then the subject, choose this one. Okay, what is the assignment number? Put three. Then your name and class. Okay, let's say Miss Laura for one. Okay, then the next thing you got to do is copy the body message and then you paste here. The assignment number you can change, assignment 3. And then your name and class. Okay. Miss Aura for 1. Okay. Don't send it first, okay. You need to attach what you have downloaded. So click on attach file. Okay, mine was download in downloads. Some of you might download in documents. Okay, if you don't remember where you have downloaded, can you see the download symbol right here? Click on it. Just click and drag and put inside here. Then it will automatically attach your uh, assignment. And then what you have done right here? Okay, once you are done everything, make sure you check all of the uh, mistakes and everything. Okay, make sure your file has your name, your title, and so on. Once you are satisfied with it, then only you press send. Okay, now you are done with your assignment 3.